the, the biggest factor that, that's exciting about this whole center stack up is this is just our take on what you can do with a center stack. The fact is the XN sensor has the ability to be curved in multiple ways. You're just opening up possibilities. It's just being creative and thinking outside the box and bringing a product out. And that's what we're excited about, what other people can do with it. This is just a concept that's created by Atmel, which we envision for automotive vehicles two years, three years from now. So what we have today is our automotive center stack simulation for the next generation. This demo actually utilizes our latest generation T-Series MXT uh, controller. It's the 2952T. Uh, in addition to that, what's special about it is the touchscreen itself. The touchscreen actually is made out of an alternative material called FLM, or X-Sense, our proprietary alternative ITO solution. So it's actually based off of copper, metal mesh technology. And the, the key advantage of metal mesh is that it has lower resistance compared to the traditional ITO solution that's, that you have on the market today. We are able to actually bend it or curve it because copper is more ductile, more malleable versus ITO, which is very brittle. So once you bend it, it breaks. So you can create a curved surface in one dimension. In addition, you can actually create larger screens as well because it's low resistance. You can actually stretch it to 17 inches and not have any uh, visible performance issues at all. So over here, we have a 17-inch sensor. Top part is your navigation, where you have multi-touch enable on there, pinch and zoom. You can also do notepad, and there's 17, 16 touches available on here. And the bottom part is where the user interacts with the vehicle to customize his needs, such as a cell phone, music, address book, your climate control, and mood lighting, which is ambient mood lighting. It makes your car your own. You, have, you can set up your own colors up there. You can start off with the music, where you can start playing your own music over here. If you want to change your artist, you can actually screen that up there, select a different genre of music, select it, bring it down, play it out there. The second part is when you want to make a phone call. So you can select the phone over here. You can either scroll, select your contacts over here, or you can just pull it up there and select the person you want to call. And when you call, the music turns off by itself. You place the call, this is just a simulation, so there's really no connection. Once you're done with the call, the music starts by itself, right there. The other thing that you can do is actually set up your own mood lighting. So you can see over here, it's actually a little bit of amber or yellow. You can actually customize it and make it red. The bottom we have here is climate control for both the driver and the passenger. So you could, you could set it up so that you have a slider. To vary the temperature here, you can vary the temperature over here for the heat seats, for your, for your top and the front. In addition, there's also a hidden slider over here. It depends on how you want to use your system actually. So you can actually set it up so that you're using it over here or over there. Uh, this part of the system is running using an AVR 8-bit controller, one of our Megas. Uh, in addition to the sliders, there's also ability to detect between a driver's side and a passenger side. So if you put your armrest over here and, and run the application, you can actually get your, your application to switch between the left and the right-hand side. What we also have over here at the bottom here is the ability to sync up with, the, with your own device, a cell phone or a tablet or something like that. Uh, over here, there's an example where we just simulate a sync where type it on there, you see the lights going up, which says we've synced up completely. And we can actually transfer your data from here to your, to your center stack if needed. The way Atmel enables a solution like this is by providing the touchscreen controllers, by providing the sensors that allow you to interact with the system, provide microcontrollers that enable you to have touches here, proximity, and the whole lighting system itself.